So uh, pretty much most of us at one point of our lives um, seem to seek, I don't have to turn on. Pretty much most of us at one point of our lives seem to seek success, want to be successful, um, and that's normal. So my question to you would be, how many of you, of you here today uh, would describe themselves or consider themselves successful? Please show your hands. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. So um, that's pretty low, much less expected. Um, so about the rest of us, uh, I'm assuming two things. Either we consider ourselves total losers, which I think is pretty much not true, or um, you're thinking what I'm thinking, and I don't blame you for that. If anything, I feel you. Um, I didn't raise my hand, because what is success, or what does it mean to be successful? Unfortunately, we live in a society where success is seen as a quality that we can measure, not as a quality in its own right. According to Merriam-Webster, success is the fact of getting or achieving wealth, respect, or fame. I think this definition is pretty much fucked up because, I mean, what is wealth? Is it inner wealth? Is it outer wealth? What is meant by uh, fame? A lot of celebrities are famous, but I don't think that means they're successful. And respect, to be respected for what and by whom, that is the real question. Um, before that, if you are someone who thinks that uh, your friend who has a bigger house, a better car, or a higher salary is more successful than you are, then think again. Think again as I share with you in this talk my take on success and what it means to be genuinely successful. This is me dumpster diving in one of uh, uh, farmer's market in Ashrafidi. I was trying to rummage through the trash looking for potatoes that the farmers threw away because they thought were, they were too muddy, too ugly looking, too imperfect for anyone to buy. I found a lot of potatoes that are good to go. So what? They're ugly. And the next day, these potatoes and, and a, like around 330 kilos of rescued uh, veggies and fruit were served to people in need in the form of hearty, wholesome meals. When my dad saw this picture, um, I'd say he wasn't happy. He was a bit disappointed. And he told me, if you like to pick people's trash so much, why don't you work as a garbage man? I mean, you have two masters. I'm pretty sure they'll take you in a blink. Uh, my dad is being satirical. I'm satirical. I think I get it from him. Um, so I told him. Uh, Dumpster diving is a lot of fun, and it's socially and environmentally responsible, but I'm no garbage man. I'm a food activist. I'm a hunger hero, and this is what food activists do. They rescue people's lives every day by rescuing, by rescuing fruit and veggies from being thrown away. I'm sorry. So um, my name is Maya Taro. I'm the co-founder of Food Blast. Food Blast, um, I think it's, here, yeah. Food Blast is a volunteer uh, driven community based local nonprofit organization that tackles food poverty in Lebanon uh, by addressing and raising awareness on food rescue and food waste. Food Blast was co founded in 2012, and in 2013, on this very stage, we won a uh, best uh, social project on corporate social responsibility by uh, CSR for Action, Al Ahli Dubai, and EZA. In, uh, in around uh, two years and a half, Fulbus was able to provide 188,000 meals to people in need, meals that have been either rescued or prepared thanks to our community cookouts, community soup kitchens community fundraiser events, and thanks to our amazing, amazing hunger heroes, people who make Food Bless what all that it is. Um, against this fact and this impressive number, uh, my dad still thinks I need to get a real job. My mom thinks I need to get a decent husband before I'm 35. And society thinks I have to get a life. But 
I don't think I need either. Or I'm really lucky because I think I get to do what I love, which brings me to point one of my presentation. Um, if you want to be really successful in life, you really have to start from the get-go. Do what you genuinely, truly love. Although do who you love always, I think, makes a difference. But that's, <laughs> and it's a sign of success. But that's another topic for another talk that I'm pretty sure most of you are pretty interested in knowing more about. <laughs> I know. All right, so do what you love, uh, do what you truly, genuinely love is, in my opinion, the first thing that will lead you towards success. And because I do what I love, I have no fixed salary, I have no job, and I have to take on part-time jobs every now and then to make my financial aid uh, ends meet. I'm really low maintenance, so a, a little money goes a long way in my case. Um, I don't have a car, I use, a, I use public transportation. It kind of sucks and is a, is a pain in the ass in this country, but it gets me where I want to go. I don't know, right? You feel me, you feel me. Uh, um, so I don't have a job, I don't have a car, I don't have a house. I'm staying with my folks, and I think that is one of the hardest and biggest sacrifices I ever had to make. <laughs> Goodbye, private life. And um, so, um, oh, when I travel, I don't stay in hotels. I couch surf, I don't do tours. I kind of explore, volunteer, and do everything in between. And so, against this background, no job, no house, no car, no problem, right? <laughs> of course, no regrets, because I'm doing what I love. And I'm lucky enough because I do it with what I have from where I am, which brings me to point two of my presentation, is that do what you love with what you have where you are. You have to compromise sometimes, you have to sacrifice on the value put on things, but never sacrifice your values. So with that in mind, I mean, no job, nothing, uh, one would think, so what now? I believe that um, if I die pretty much today, I will leave behind my six-year-old Toshiba laptop, which taught me a lot about patience. I will leave, <laughs> this is how you test patience, people. I will leave behind um, my phone, which has been my window to the world, my office, my secretary, sometimes my best friend. I will leave behind um, also my collection of ebooks because they're pretty much free. And my, um, this is kind of weird, I have a fetish for cows, so I collect cow memorabilia, and I share that with my sister, so if I die, someone's gonna inherit that shit that might not mean anything to someone. And most of all, if I die today, I shall leave behind my inner richness. All the good that I, brought, that I have, or what I did have, has brought to others, and what that good has left them feeling. That inner richness that I consider a huge sign of success in my life. And because of that, this has inspired a lot of people. Which brings me to point three of my talk. Do what you love, and in that doing, inspire and awaken the hearts and minds of others. So, in my opinion, a successful person is someone who is seen as a source of inspiration, never a source of competition. Successful people are people who aspire to inspire, who put value not just on their work, but the value that it adds to other people's lives. I believe in my life, and in my work in To Bless, I inspire people every day. That's a blessing. I inspire them to be more mindful about what they eat, how they eat it, about people in need, and most of all, about their passions, to be, to be mindful about what they love doing. And um, sometimes I do it just by doing. People will see and be inspired. I don't have to say a word. And sometimes by saying, and case in point is today. This is why I'm so excited to be here today, because I love to share my experiences with others. Because a lot of people in our society would consider me as a total failure. No job, no house, no car, no husband. 
But in my opinion, I'm so successful because um, I get to do what I love. And sure, I, I do compromise, I do sacrifice, but it's all worth it. And um, I do inspire people in, in while doing it. And I hope that my talk today has at least inspired one of you to be more mindful about their food waste, about how they think of others, especially those in need, and about their passion. So let me re-ask you that question. How many of you today, based on what I mentioned, would consider themselves as successful? All right, see, more hands. Awesome. Thank you.